Jake, how emotional has this been? And you know, the thought of you know, you've played your last game as a Cyclone, and the, the improbable journey here, and, and all that stuff. How emotional has it been with with teammates and coaches and everybody else? Well, I mean, it's it's been extremely emotional, I guess you could say. Uh, it's been a long, long journey since day one. Second. You know, as I'm sitting here, all these things are running through my mind of all, you know, some some tough times, some great times. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely lucky. Even if I got um, ended short, uh, I'm very, very lucky. Uh, I guess, you know, they always say play every down like it's your last, but uh, when, you know, you go out there and you know, hey, this is it, this is, you know, the last, uh, the last game, the last time I'm going to do this, do that, uh, it was, you know, it was emotional leading up to it, but it also, you know, that emotion helped, you know, fuel me to, you know, push past any physical barriers I felt. Jake Knott has spent the last four months rehabbing a torn labrum, all in an attempt to make an NFL dream a reality. In the face of critics worrying about re-injury, there is a strong belief from Jake and from his former coach Wally Burnham that he has what it takes to make it to the next level, a belief Burnham has had since Knott's freshman season. I remember after our first uh, spring ball, um, after my freshman year, uh, Wally Burnham brought me in his office and uh, we watched the film and he, he told me, you know, hey, he's like, you keep, you know, I kept rewinding on one of these one of the play I made. He's like, you keep doing this, Jake, you're going to you're going to be an all-Big 12 player. You're going to be, have a chance at the NFL. You're going to play in the NFL, all this stuff. And I'm just sitting there like, man, this guy's crazy. <laughs> like, what is he talking about? I appreciate it, but I don't know, man. <laughs> Burnham says that it's Jake's intelligence on the field and his physical and mental toughness that set him apart from many others he has coached. You know, there's a lot of smart football players out there, but there's a lot of them that don't understand the game. Uh, Jake was an extension of us out there, and sometimes he was more than us. You know, he could see things during the course of a game uh, that we couldn't see from the press box or the sideline. He'd come off and tell us things. And uh, a lot of kids came over, cannot overcome the mental part of it uh, to push and to learn and to sacrifice and uh, do all the things that it takes to be the type of player that Jake became. And that proverbial chip on Jake's shoulder carried through his arrival on campus. I think I, I'm a very self-motivated person, and uh, you know I like to uh, just go in and put in the extra work because I know, you know, being a guy from from Iowa, and you, you don't get the benefit of the doubt a lot. Uh, what I like to do is go in there and uh, outwork everybody, and that work has led to you know a lot of physical abilities coming out, and uh, me being able to to you know, really show that I have some talent. His longtime friend and personal trainer, Ryan Dietrich, said Nod has always had this high work ethic. It's a family trait. His parents are both really hard workers and uh, have a great blue collar mentality. I think he just kind of carried that over from observing them as he was growing up. Both my parents were the ones driving me everywhere when I was little, doing everything for me. And my dad, you know, he's one of my biggest supporters, but he's also one of the toughest Tough, you know, critics you know, I can have. And I remember when I was little, uh, he told me, uh, you know, maybe you should just focus on playing playing baseball, you know, in college or something like that. When I was around like 10 or 12, and I was like, no, I'm gonna play football. <laughs> the whole you know deal with me trying to prove people wrong started at a young age. And now it's up to not to block out the concerns about his health and physical condition and keep working towards his ultimate goal. It's been a dream, and, and it was a dream because I had to put in a lot of work to get, you know, to where I'm at. And that's, I'm grateful for all the people around me for pushing me and, and doing that like Coach Burnham has. You gotta have the dream, then you gotta go make that dream come true. And I think Jake's ultimate goal when he came to college was I wanna be in the NFL. And he's willing to do everything and anything on and off the football field. 